I'm Lucy here from ecommercemarketing.co.nz with an online marketing update. I just had a client ask me, you know, what's happened with the latest Google Panda update and what does it mean for our website? Basically, when Google's algorithm goes out and looks at things, the latest update is actually looking at your website, not just the way other people link to your website. And we're talking about internal site links. So what we want to do is make sure we're not link spamming our own website. And that could be things like putting heaps of keywords down in the footer, or it could be linking to the same keyword over and over and over again. Let's say you sell socks and you're going after the keyword red socks. Rather than linking to the word red socks directly every time you make a link, what you'd want to do is throw in a few variations so it looks more natural like Mickey Mouse red socks, darn red socks, uh, mohair red socks. These are all variations that people could be looking for but it also makes you sound like the authority in Google because you have a whole lot of pages on red socks so Google will send you traffic. What you want to do is become the authority in your niche by publishing heaps of good quality content and going after what we call long tail keywords, which is basically a fancy way of saying variations of your main keyword. So my SEO advice is give your site a bit of an overhaul. Go and look at how you're linking pages and put some variations in there. Don't just link to your landing pages. So take a look at your internal site linking and give your site a bit of an overhaul. This is Lucy Ross from ecommercemarketing.co.nz. If you need help with any SEO packages, please visit the site today or give me a call. Thanks.